Hey guys, Tyler Berger here with Bass Fishing HQ, and today I want to talk about when should you use the popper, the pop R style bait, and when should you use a spook style bait, a walking bait. Stay tuned, it's going to be a good one. As always, this video is brought to you by the Bass Hat. Click the link in the description if you want to buy one and help support the Bass Fishing HQ channel. All right guys, sorry, I had to change up scenery on you because it's like 93 degrees outside right now and my camera actually overheated and died. Before we get into the two lures and when I like to throw each one, I first wanted to talk to you about one misconception that I hear a lot when it comes to topwater fishing and that is that topwaters don't work in muddy water. Although topwaters do tend to work better sometimes in clear water or a little bit stained water, they will work in muddy water conditions. Now, uh, yes, there might be lures that work better, but topwaters do work extremely well. I'm not sure if you guys watched the Bassmaster Elite series that just happened on Lake Neely Henry, but that water was up and down. It had fluctuated a lot and it was pretty heavily stained and pretty muddy, but the bass were extremely keyed up on shad during that particular event. And there were several guys that made the top 10 and did really well in that event using a spook style bait in pretty off color water. And they did extremely well well they caught big bass so guys top waters do in fact work in muddy water now let's get into the baits and when I like to throw which bait the walking style bait and the popping style bait and in what situation sometimes it literally doesn't matter sometimes there is no better option sometimes fish are just hitting on top you see this a lot in the fall you see this sometimes during post spawn conditions there's not always a right and a wrong when it comes to top water fishing at times. Sometimes it just doesn't matter if you throw a popper, a plopper, a buzz bait, walking style bait, no matter what it is. Sometimes guys, bass are just hitting on top and it doesn't matter. But I am going to talk to you about certain situations where I do feel like they hit a certain top water over another. The first one that I want to talk about is spooks and the walking style baits, the ones you typically are walking the dog with back and forth, back and forth. Guys, this is a great bait and like all top waters, it catches really big bass. And that is why I love, love, love to throw a top water spook. I actually did kind of a mini series on spook fishing. I'll link that above so that you guys can click on that and go through that series. But I wanna to talk to you about certain situations where I think a spook style bait, a walking style bait, really, really shines. So the number one time that I am going to throw this spook style bait, like the one that I have here, anytime the fish are feeding heavily on thread finned or gizzard shad or herring, anytime they're feeding on those bigger bait fish, those bait fish that grow between five and seven inches, even bigger than that, guys, a spook style bait is literally one of the best baits to throw in that situation. No matter if you're throwing it against wood, around a dock, on a grass, flat on a riprap bank if they are feeding heavily on shad gizzard shad herring whatever it may be guys that's when I like to pick up this spook the larger profile of a spook just really looks similar to a herring to a shad to the bass and when they're again when they are super keyed up on those bait fish I love to fish a spook now on the opposite side of things the pop R. One of my favorite times to fish a pop R style bait, a popping style bait, is anytime the fish are focused on bluegill. Guys, if the fish are focused on bluegill, again, whether it's around wood, around lily pads or grass, no matter where it is, if you know, if you're catching fish and they've got bluegill in their throat, or you can tell that there's a lot of bluegill around, that's when I love to throw a popper. And one of the biggest reasons that I love to throw a popper in those situations is because if you guys have ever heard bluegill feeding on insects, whether that's around lily pads or around grass, a lot of times they're going to make a popping sound. They're gonna come up, they're gonna pop as they hit that insect off the top of the water. And not to say that this popper makes that exact same sound, but it can make a popping sound and it really seems to work well. You can work a pop R style bait extremely slow. And bluegill aren't always the fastest animals. They're not like shad where they're constantly on the move. Sometimes they're just hanging around an area. So a pop R style bait like this one I'm holding is going to resemble a bluegill a lot 
better. Now that is really the first and foremost thing. If I know they're feeding on shad, no matter what the conditions are, I'm gonna fish the spook style bait. If I know they're feeding on bluegill, that's when I pick up the pop R style bait. I also really like the pop R style bait when I'm fishing it around minnows. Sometimes you'll see bass chasing these really little minnows. And in that case, I like to use a small pop R and I'm gonna work it pretty fast. And it really seems to resemble one of those little minnows really well, working it really fast and just letting it kind of spit water more than pop water. Now there are times when you don't know exactly what the fish are feeding on, or maybe they're feeding on a lot of different things like shad and bluegill because bass are opportunistic feeders. So in that situation, I'm going to pick up the bait that makes me the most efficient out on the water. So let's talk about a few situations that help me to be efficient. If I'm fishing larger grass flats, typically you have a little bit cleaner water around grass. And when I'm in that situation, I really like the spook because I can work a spook extremely fast now. I can also work a pop bar extremely fast too, but I tend to pick up a spook a lot because it just seems to have a little bit more of a drawing power. Sometimes you have fish that are on grass flats and they're really up inside of the grass and you have to draw them out of that grass in order for them to hit a bait. And a spook really has a good drawing power. So around grass flats, I really like the spook because it helps me to be more efficient. I can cover more water, I can pull fish out of grass and catch them on a spook. Now with that being said, talking about the drawing power that a spook has, I really like to fish a spook anytime I'm trying to draw fish from a great distance. If, if I'm fishing over a deep brush pile, maybe that brush pile is sitting in 10 or 15 foot of water, if I wanna draw fish out of that, I'm gonna pick up the spook. And I'm gonna pick up a noisy spook a lot of times, a spook that's gonna make a lot of noise. It's gonna draw fish out of that cover and up to hit a spook. So those are two situations I really, really, really love to fish a spook. Now let's go back to the pop R style bait and tell you about a few situations where I really like the pop R style bait. Now, one situation is anytime I'm in Florida, okay? I don't know what it is about bass that are in Florida or Florida strain bass in general, but they seem to like a pop R. I don't really know why. And I think that it's okay to not know why exactly, as long as you know that they are hitting that bait. So in Florida, I have seen in around Florida strain bass, that they just like the popper for whatever reason. They just seem to like it. It's kind of like I think Florida strain bass also really love a Texas rig worm for whatever reason. And I don't know the exact reason, but they just love a Texas rig straight tail worm. Same thing, I really think Florida strains love to hit a pop R. Now guys, another thing that I love about a pop R is you can fish it extremely slow when you need to. Now, you guys should know that you can fish this bait extremely fast as well, and that's actually probably one of my favorite presentations with this bait. I'm going to pop it two, three, four times real quick. Let it pause for a quick second and keep going. So it's pop, 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 pause, pop, 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 pause, pop, pop, pause. That can be extremely effective. But like I was saying is that I love to fish this anywhere where I need to fish a top water really, really slow. So for instance, if I am really target fishing is what I call it. If I'm going down a bank and I'm really trying to place this underneath of a shade line or right up next to a dock piling or right over by a stump. If I am very precision target casting, that's when I like the popper because I can put it in that area and I can pop it and keep it next to that target for a long, long time. And that's what I love about the popper is I can keep it next to an area for a long time and really kind of condense that bass that might be hanging by that stump to come up and eat my popper. Now, one thing that I have noticed a lot when it comes to fishing these two style baits is sometimes you're out there and you're fishing a spook and you're having a lot of fish actually come up, hit a spook and miss it. And guys, there's nothing more frustrating than when that happens. Literally, sometimes I've had some giant bass come up and completely miss a spook, and I literally have no idea why. Like, there's, there, you try changing colors, you try changing baits, you try changing sounds, and they just keep missing the bait. Guys, if they're doing that, no matter the situation, no matter what they're feeding on, if they're missing a spook, I pick up a popper and fish it in that same area. If you do that, you're gonna see your hookups go through the roof. If they're missing this, 
pick up the popper and just start fishing it. The popper is a little bit smaller bait. It hangs down a little bit in the water column. The tail kind of sits down and they can typically eat it better than the spook. So keep that in mind. I would really love to hear from you. When do you like to fish the spook? When do you like to fish the pop bar? Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something today. If you did, please give me a like below. Please comment below and please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.